That old chestnut. That old chestnut. Yeah, I thought they'd gone through their gags, and I hope we weren't going to have any more. <laughs> wasn't it a gag? wasn't it. That wasn't a gag. That wasn't a meant to be funny, you know. The silhouette bits, you, you, you used to do all that investigative journalism oh, on your Kevin character. Turvey, yes, yes, yes. He was a bit like that, wasn't he? Yeah. Very good, Alf. This is one of your employees. An addicted conquer player. Mm. Desperately <laughs> trying to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the losing end of a match, were you? <coughs> no, I was actually making up? a sandwich. Yeah. Did and you uh, set up, Alf, or was he a, a I really a real don't know. Character? No, 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 no. I really don't know. You've put me on the spot now. I'm not here to ask questions. I'm right. here to ask questions. <laughs> Did you ever play Conkers? Yeah. Did you? Demon Conker player. Were you? Yeah. They're supposed to have sort of therapeutic qualities, aren't they? Oh, yes. Uh, apparently they cure arthritis if you put them in your pocket. So I heard. What? Arthri arthritis of the hip? <laughs> arthritis, arthritis of, of the conquer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, yeah, that's, that. uh, we'll talk a bit more. Because um, I want to know how you write some of this any comedy, mm -hmm. but we just have one other thing to do first. Well, we do. Now, uh, we've got to look forward to the weekend. Which is, in a way, I suppose, a substitute for the third series of the enormously successful, if at times distasteful, television programme of the young ones. Do you want this bath water or not? Uh, you haven't got much of a choice, actually, because there's no more hot water. <laughs> well, it's, it's a bit cloudy, Rick. <laughs> well, don't look at me, Neil. Vivian had the bath before me, and Mike had it before him. And anyway, Neil, the whole thing's left over from the bath you had last Tuesday. So stop being so bloody picky. That's your filth. I hate bath night. Oh, well, here you goes. <laughs> well, immensely popular, but not with everybody. Do you get lots of objectionable letters saying that is scandalous, disgusting and all that? Have you had a lot of that? Um... I think the BBC get quite a few. Yeah, they get. They tend to get sent to the BBC, and the BBC send us the nice ones, really. <laughs> so all the reaction we get is very good. There are a few on a, uh, the TV Times cover provoked an extraordinary reaction in the in the, the radio. Radio, radio Times. Times, radio Times. Yeah. Many apologies there, <laughs> but uh, they they had a number of letters saying it was scandalous, scandalous to have. We these. don't want pictures of these kind of people in our home. Which yeah. is, you know, real. Fair enough. Yeah. But, I mean, as life goes on, I mean, every, every, every new kind of thing does that, doesn't it? I mean, I, I remember going back to that was the week that was, which now sounds immensely har harmless and, and, and insipid, was in sensational at the yes, time, you know, yes. the fact that it was aggressive mm. and people were interviewed in a hard way. And, well, it and was live as well. Though, yes, and, and there was great lampooning. I don't think we were all that aggressive. We were a bit, there was a lot of slapstick and it was a bit lively. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a noisy programme. Yes. It wasn't, wasn't unpleasant. Now, the three of you, I, I mean... You play parts, you're the major star, of course. I mean, you play little parts, Ben. Lisa doesn't. You all write it together. Now, can you give me some idea of, of a typical writing session? I mean, how do you go about creating? Not on television. <laughs> <laughs> well, there aren't really any, any typical uh, sessions. We all tend to write separately, and then we'll meet up and uh, mix we it all together. We have ideas meetings where we all go and get very drunk and think of ideas, and, uh, and then go away and sit inside when it's nice and sunny outside and turn it out. Yeah. And then we argue a lot about what goes yeah. on. What if I ever write anything when I'm slightly intoxicated, it's always <laughs> rubbish when I've sobered up. Don't you find that? Well, you're the young ones. The <laughs> <laughs> But no, that is so. But I mean, are they noisy sessions? Because people are always fascinated as how you know Muir and Norden wrote and, and all, all the great mm. comedy. No, they tend to be quiet and quite vicious. If, I mean, if you've got three people who want to get one particular line or one of two lines through, mm. then you've got to uh, gang up against one of the others. So yeah. it can get very. We all have techniques for getting the things we want. Like and... what? I mean, if he suggests a line, what well, do you? Well, I'm, I'm just very stubborn, so I. I argue till everyone else gives up. What, well, you say it's not funny, we're not using it, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And I'll say, what do you know? Yeah, and it, it sort of gets down to sort of, well, I got a one in my English O level and you only got a two, so shut up. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that kind of thing. So I take Ben Very out for a drink and then we take a vote on it. <laughs> I see. Uh, do you and meanwhile, Lisa... I've typed it out differently. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Lisa, contribute anything different to this thing? I mean, do, do you bring... I mean, do you all have particular areas in which you kind of contribute ideas? Um, do you find your mind working in certain areas? Well, I mean, I suppose our minds all do work differently, but um, because we're writing for characters, we can all... Um, it's, it's really the characters speaking and you just have mm. to write like they write. Presumably, since you play Rick, you have strong ideas of what you should say and do, have you? Yes, yes, which, which I try to... To try to get a casting vote on. But by the time we finished writing, um, all three I of us have rewritten thought, every yeah. line anyway. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that really there's much, the Rick puts much more into the character of Rick at, at script stage than either Lisa mm. or I do. I mean, obviously, once the performance starts, I mean, he's, it's, it's 100% him. Yeah. But I would have thought the script, in terms of like the new developments of the character, this, this series, that, that we were concentrating more hard on his sort of. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to live till I die on the edge of oblivion yeah. side, his sort of massive romanticism of, of his sort of little world of being a poet. I mean, Lisa, 
Uh, do you do you admire Carla Lane's writing, for example, as a, as a oh, yes, woman comedy writer? I mean, I remember growing up the live of yeah. us. Really. But Butterflies has a couple of lad characters in that, which are, are sort of slightly anarchic. Not not as mm. outrageous as yours, but I mean, that's halfway towards your kind they of They tend to roller skate in, don't they, <laughs> yeah. in Butterflies? So, yeah. Oh my God, they're roller skating yeah. in. I mean, it's strange that. I said the book is, is a kind of, uh, instead of a third series, are you, are you all doing so many different things now, which is usually the problem, that you can't get together and do the young ones? Well, Ben and I are touring uh, later in the year, at the end of November and the first part of December. Mm. So, uh, and because we're doing longer than, well, certainly I'm doing longer mm. than I've done on stage on my own before, I'm going to try and do about an hour and a quarter or so. And you perform we're writing, you? Yeah, writing for that, and Lisa's writing for it as well. That's yeah. a stand-up stand comics. I mean, that won't be the, the young ones on tour, that'll be us as, as, as two stand-up comedians. That was yeah. it. Mm. And what's coming up next then? Are you contributing things and um, ideas? And yeah, I, well, I do write live stuff for Rick, but um, I'm working on a stage play at the moment. Yeah. Sure. What time? Well, I'm going to the National Theatre as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, only, only to see a show, you know, but I mean, it's just going all the same. It's starring in some heavy drama, aren't Indeed, it? Indeed, in great danger of joining the establishment. That will never yes, do. Yes, <laughs> Tell us what it is. Hey, thank, thank you very much for being with us. We'll give you a proper thanks for having us. Again, well, it's but, been uh, lovely. Oh, it's not all over. I hope the grannies like it. I'm sure <laughs> We'll see you again. Just as long as they buy it. And let's make this one typical. Uh, we've heard that Rick Mayle is one of your guests on Breakfast Time. As we are great fans of his, we wondered if you would ask him to say hello to us. Uh, we would be very grateful. All the names are on the bottom if you'd like to compose a little kind of few right. words. Can I just say also that uh, the floor manager from the Young Woods was at that wham party and we weren't involved. <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> so uh, this is to say hello to Sarah, Sally, Louise, Natalie, Amy, Claire, Lorraine and Lani. Laney. Yeah, I worry hello. about that one. Lani <laughs> or Laney. And uh, will you send them a picture? Yes, of course. Yes, I'm sure you will. OK, thank you all very much indeed for brightening our morning. And uh, that is really all for this week on Breakfast Time, but do stay watching BBC One. We're going now, I'm told, intergalactic, as uh, coming up now, as we say thank you again, is the Battle of the Planets. Yeah.